What's up, YouTube? This is Siggy Dog back with another Transformers review. This is on the Transformers Generations Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy, Micromaster Class, Laser Beak, and Ravage. Checking out the packaging, you can see Laser Beak and Ravage that are up there. Very cool. By Takara Tomi as well as Hasbro. Ages 8 and up. See the figures displayed there, turning it around, transforms in four steps, and then Ravage transforms in seven steps, or so it says. And it's compatible with Soundwave, as we will see now. So I want to remember to click on those bell notification bells to get all my videos as they come in, to share with your friends, to make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and just to check out my playlist and follow me on Twitter. Name will be in the description below. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into the review. All right, so checking out these figures out of the packaging, you can see that they are pretty cool. This one is representing the Cybertron laser beak from episode one of Transformers 1984. Um, very cool. Got some cool paint on it. You got red and silver and kind of outlining all of it is silver and you get some red in the inside and some painted details and metallic silver as well we also have a cockpit i guess or the eyes the visor painted in this nice bright kind of deep yellow and we have some silver paint on the back here this is actually supposed to come up like that i believe yeah so you have that silver paint as well as the tampoed decepticon symbol for articulation for laser beak you just get the wings. It's basically just the transformation wings. But one thing I like is they got the, if you notice, this would be like straight. And it's just enough down where you can have the head basically all the way up and still looking down, which is basically appropriate for a bird or something. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, you have the neck that goes up and down like that as well as the hinge right here. So we have that. And then the, you know, the wings will go out or the the feet will go out a little bit you know in transformation but you can probably use that to your advantage but definitely a cool figure ravage you can see you can get him in a little bit of a pose there um for articulation he's got a little bit you got this swivel right here that will swivel a little bit back and then all the way up to there forward and then you get this and this kind of just goes like that um, on the back, it does swivel a little bit, but you don't really get any back, but you do get this. Uh, for the head, we'll go up just a touch and then down, you know, and you, of course, can tuck it in for transformation. You got painted missiles, or I guess these would be, uh, cannons, his cannons, laser guns basically but those are painted in metallic silver you got all these details painted in metallic silver with tampoed decepticon symbols on each side so you can see that and then you got gray plastic for the feet as well as the back of the neck here and then you have some silver metallic paint with some metallic purple right there that's painted on then red paint for the optics taking a quick look at the head sculpt as you can see, nice Ravage head sculpt. Definitely looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then just for fun, there's the laser beak head sculpt. Rawr. So yeah, taking it back out of zoom here. Um, for transformation, they basically transforms into tapes. Actually, before we go to transformation, just show you what they look like uh, with Soundwave, you know. And I'm sure you can do, uh, you know, you can get your little bird feature. I believe there's some kind of tab. I thought there was a tab on him, but it, oh, sorry about that, guys. As you can see, you can definitely do his whole laser beak on the shoulder or on his hand thing. I was just moving the arm, but it just stays right there. And then wrap, this is what Ravage would look like next to Next to Soundwave. What's going on? His foot collapsed. There. So, there you go. For transformation, we'll just get Soundwave out of the way. I know I'm probably missing something, but 
it's late and I'll check it out in a minute. But for transformation, you just want to take this, fold that all the way back in two parts. Take the head, fold that in, fold the wings in, and then fold these out. It does have these two tabs. I wonder if they actually fit into something, and maybe in Megatron. Um, anyways, but you have that, and then of course it's a tape. All right, it's a micro cassette, or it's you know a data disc, however you want to word it, and. Uh, for Ravage, you just go under here. I mean, I'll actually zoom in a little bit. Flip his head all the way under there. Then what you want to do first is you want to fold the legs up in here first. Rotate this up. So with this, get that in the way. Fold that up. Like that. And rotate this up like that. That way you can rotate it underneath and then pull this out like so. You then will pull this out. Actually, hold on. Pull this out on this side here. And then it clips over this little nub right there. Like that. These go in there like that. I thought they were going to stay, but and then you just kind of go up and over for that. And there is Ravage's data desk slash tape slash micro cassette mode. And these, see the tabs right there? Those kind of match together to, full, to kind, of, kind of squeeze it. And there's laser beaks. There's his back. There's the backs. A little bit hollow. Not too bad. Not really hollow. Just got weird parts. I guess just one side versus the other, you know. And then... We take Soundwave, and Soundwave, of course, has this little uh, finger, so you can eject his own tape deck, and we fit thick side down, I believe, and then um, you can eject. So that's really cool. Really dig that. That's definitely a really, really cool part of the Transformers universe. Once again, a little bit more light. Boom. So you want to just put the thick side down first, is the way I've done it. And same with Ravage, thick side down first. Slide it down just like that. Ravage doesn't fit quite as well, but he will fit. So, And you can get him to, yeah, there. There, there it goes. Whoops. <laughs> but that's what he looks like with him in tape mode. And yeah, so very cool. I do like the set. Um, let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Last but not least, I want to show you guys that... I was right there that Ravage does connect to Soundwave. I'm trying to get his head out here. Come on, right. Or, so, laser Beak, sorry, not Ravage, Laser Beak. And you see those little divots there? And there's four little, like, square tabs. And you can just basically pop them right on there. And it's, it's not the greatest fit. It basically just kind of rests, but. See if we can get to step. No, yeah, it just basically rests. But it's built there for that reason. So, which is kind of cool. So I did want to show that off. As you can see, Megatron does not have them. So, as far as I can tell. Yeah, no. All right, peace, guys. That's a wrap.